my mother, who was the driving force in our lives, one of the greatest Christians I've ever met, had an amazing conversion, came into the kingdom at 100 miles an hour and never slowed down. And then she took my brother Neil, two years older than me, and my younger sister Ruth, seven years my junior, and took God in one hand and the three kids in the other and said, we're going to serve the Lord. And she took us to church. When I say take us to church, and I'm hearing kids today say, I don't want to go to church, and I assume like they're teenagers, 15, 16, 17, and then I discover they're not. These kids that don't want to go to church are 10 and 11 and 12. And I think, how can that be? I never got to vote. <laughs> My mother would look at me and say, boy, if you want to live to see your next birthday, you will be in the house of God. And in the house of God meant the breaking of bread service every Sunday morning, two Sunday schools. I went to on a Sunday afternoon, Brethren and Presbyterian, and I would tell my mother, all my friends just go to one Sunday school, how come I have to go to two? She'd say, it's a backup plan, in case you're not <laughs> listening the first time around, you're going to get the word into you, boy, and then you'd come home and have sandwiches and go to the Sunday night evangelistic service. And then she took you to the Monday night prayer meeting. Now, in our church, the Monday night prayer meeting lasted three hours. I thought this was the tribulation period and the church went through it every week. The Wednesday night Bible study, the Friday night youth service, and if she could find a campaign or a revival series, you were in church every night. And one of her favorite verses was, they shall, <laughs> they shall be planted in the courts of the Lord. So my brother and my sister and I were planted and fertilized and pruned and watered. And, but an, an, an amazing thing happened. By the time I was 12, all my heroes were preachers. And I wanted to be a man of God. Train up a child in the way that he should go and when he's old, do you know what that means? When a baby was born, a Hebrew midwife would take olive oil and rub it on the tongue of a newborn infant to give it the desire to suck. You know what the Bible is saying? Give your children a taste of the things of God when they're young. And when they grow up, the world will never satisfy their taste. And I haven't been perfect. I've done a lot of things that only God salvaged me. But I've never lost my love for Christ. If I had a million lives to live, I'd live them all for Jesus.